Charlie Romeo. We're here today to discuss with you the cryo non-surgical biological facelifting. So <clears throat> we're going to do this demonstration today and I'm actually going to take you through it very quickly just like the last lady because obviously we have limited time. So within this facial you'll expect to see 25% wrinkle depth over a course of five treatments, a reduction of 50% in skin roughness, tightened pores and reduces oiliness in the skin by 21% and it regenerates the skin cells so it really is a non-surgical facelift um, in a box which is literally this box here. So over this period of half an hour Sally and I are going to show you how to achieve this using this box of four products in eight easy steps. So step one, Sally is um, cleansing the skin so we're going to cleanse with product number one in our box, this one here. This has got little gran granules in, little grains in, called microspheres. What they do is they just gradually slough off any dead layer on the surface of the skin, which will actually make the treatment more effective. So just like exfoliating treatment that you would do at home, but just a little bit deeper than it would be normally. This is going to mean that the products that she's going to use afterwards is going to be a lot more effective because it's going to penetrate deeper into the skin. She's going to remove this in a minute with lukewarm water. Normally this would be done for about seven or eight minutes, but in this respect we're going to be just doing it for a couple of minutes. So this is a facial made by Pierre Roger, which is a, skin, a French skincare range, been around for about sorry, been around for about 50 years. Um, this particular facial has been around for about 20 years and gives amazing results. It's something that we're relaunching into the UK. You have three options to use this facial. You have the box and normally for each client you will use this one box five times. But if you have a younger client who doesn't necessarily want a very intensive lift, you can use it as a one treatment for radiance, so for a younger client, maybe someone who's getting married, or three treatments for an anti-aging effect, but you won't get the biological lift. Obviously, for the five treatments, you will get a biological lift where you will see very obvious before and afters, which we've got some pictures for you a little bit later on. So the course of five, if you are going to use the whole five, is one a week for five weeks. <laughs> the results of that five then will last for up to six months. If you're using the retail products at home as well, then it will last longer. So it's an ideal opportunity for you to retail the products to your clients. Um, it will make sure that the treatments work better and it will make the treatment more effective. After the course of five treatments, then you can sell your normal facials to the client. She'll come back in monthly and it's up to her whether she uses these products or the products that you normally use. So before and after pictures here, we have um, a lady who we've done over a course of five treatments. So in the first one that you can see, she has uh, heavier jowl lines and under her eye area is a little bit heavier as well with lines and wrinkles. If you look after the course of five, you can see a lot less lines around her eyes and if you look at the jowl line area, you'll see that's lifted out and she has more of a round look to her face. So step two, Sally is now applying the cryo gel. She's going to apply a one third of what's in that tube. As you can see in the box, you actually have five of these. So you have one a week for five weeks. So the first third is going on now. It goes on with a brush and then she's going to massage it into the skin. And this, uh, this normally takes about seven minutes of quite a vigorous massage because you want to penetrate this layer down into the skin as deep as you can. When it goes down in, it actually works into the basal layers of the cells as well as the cells around going into that, which gives you a much better effective treatment. Um, in a moment, Sally will be using her hands to massage that in. And uh, like, like I said, she's going to be using large massage movements like jacquard's pinches, etc, etc, lots of effleurage to actually get that product into the skin. So, the two ingredients that are in this particular product are hyaluronic acid and HP DNA. Sorry, my little clicker's going mad. That's it. So, HP 
PDNA is a powerful antioxidant. It's used in sun skincare products in the um, sun care, but very, very rarely used in skincare. So we have a, an exclusive patient of this particular product. It repairs damage caused by sun or aging or pollution by in, uh, stimulating the elastin and collagen fibers in the skin. It also mops up free radicals, and as you know, this can, can cause a lot of damage in the skin. So it reduces free radical damage, and it will reduce free radical damage over a long period of time, so reducing aging as it occurs naturally. And hyaluronic acid is a powerful hydrator. So this contains, um, or this pulls in 500 times its own weight in water, which will make the skin very, very soft, very, very um, silky feeling which is why it's great if you're a bride and you just want it as a one-off treatment, you'll still get the results from that. I've just got um, uh, layers of the skin. I know you're all therapists and you know this already. Oh, I should put that down. There we go. Um, and again, you can see that the hyaluronic acid will work down into the basal layer and that will, plump, will pull in or drag in water into all those layers, making it softer and more plump. So it will help with superficial lining as well. HPDNA then will repair the damage in the skin cells down to the basal layer again, um, and will help with pollution and sun damage. It also puts a layer inside the skin, which helps protect it from UV rays. So when you're going on holiday, it will actually protect your skin from getting any more damage. As we know, sun is one of the worst causes of aging. It also increases radiance and reduces the fine lines, which is obviously really important. So again, we have some before and after pictures. So it's the same lady as we saw before. <laughs> Here we go. So again, if you can see, you can see in the first treatment and then the last treatment, a lot more of a reduction around the uh, eye area in the eye bag. Um, and then there's the line just above the eyebrow. You can see it's much, much lighter. So this is done after a course of five treatments, one a week for five weeks. There's no machines, nothing else being used on the surface of the skin, just those two ingredients. So the next picture again is the younger skin, but you can see, again, the fine lines have been plumped out, and the fine lines have been plumped out, and the um, area underneath the eye is much smoother. Okay, so Sally's now going to call to put on uh, the second layer. So the second layer, we apply over the first layer, and this goes on the areas that the client is more concerned with. So you would have a discussion with her before the treatment. So if she's more concerned with her neck or her eye area, then that's where you would obviously put this layer. The reason you put a second layer on here is so that it penetrates deeper and will be more effective on those areas. It's applied with a brush in a, a thin but fine layer over the surface of the skin and that isn't massaged in, that's just literally left over the surface of the skin. I'll just wait for Sally to do that and then we'll talk about the next step. So just to recap, we're just using still the same product which is oops, number two. So this is our, last, our second third now, which is going on from Sally. What she's going to do now is unfold a, a gauze, a sterile gauze, which is also in the kit at the back. And this one she's going to apply all over the surface of those two layers of product that we put into the skin. If she can get the packet open. <laughs> So what's actually going to happen with this is this is going to become our mask, but we're going to use the last third of our, our gel, we're going to use the last third over the top. So it's still just utilising the products that are actually in the box, so when you purchase the box you purchase everything. Sally's just going to smooth that gauze down, she's just going to cut a, a, a hole. It's really for client comfort, not for any other reason, because the gauze has holes in it and you can actually breathe through it quite easily, it's not a problem. However, some clients prefer to actually have their nose out whilst they're having the treatment done. It doesn't make any difference to the treatment whether the nose is out or not, it's just a comfort thing. So you can see that Sally's smoothing that gauze 
down so that there's no, we don't want any creases on the surface of the skin at all. So that the gel and then what we're going to do afterwards will penetrate deep into the skin. She's just making sure that there's no air bubbles either because again that will stop that the active ingredients penetrating into the surface of the skin. Okay. So the last third that's in our tube, our last third, is now going on over the top. So this is going to become our mask. Now this layer is really important. We're going to set it with the activated serum and it's going to push the products deeper into the skin. So this is how we can get the, the penetration of the ingredients into the layers that we need it. So she's putting it on a nice thin layer all over. Um, so that means that she's finishing up the rest of the tube and it's important that you use the whole tube on the, on the one client. She's applying it again with a brush so that it doesn't move, just so that it lays on the surface of the skin. So that when we use the activator serum, there's no skin showing, which is really, really important. Because the activator serum is very active, when we spray it onto the skin, if the skin isn't covered, it will actually become a little bit red. Around the eye area, for our brand new clients, we always make sure that we apply a little bit of cotton wool. The treatment is really active, and as you can see on the before and after pictures, it's very, very active on the eye area. However, very occasionally we may get people that have a reaction to it. So what I tend to do with my first treatment is I apply a little bit of cotton wool, just make sure that nobody's had that reaction, and then afterwards, if they're happy on their next subsequent treatments, we will remove the cotton wool and then apply the gel just to get a better reaction. For me, when I have the treatment done, I want it done around my eye area, so it's a really important step for me. Now, what Sally's doing now is she's just covering over any of the skin which could be um, open that doesn't have any gel on it. And she's going to use the activator serum, which is going to set that top layer that she's put on. Makes, makes the skin quite soft, um, quite matte looking. Hello? Can you still hear me? Oh yeah. It will make the skin quite matte looking when you look at it. She's obviously using a little bit of um, her sponge to make sure that it's not over the nose area. Only because it's a light mist, again it won't do anything bad if you inhale it, but it's just a client comfort thing. Now I don't know if you can see, but that's actually mattified. So rather than being shiny, the surface of that has mattified. That means that the treatment has started working. The client will feel the, the skin, uh, the gel on the surface tightening slightly. Um, and then it will, might go a little bit tingly. If she's very dehydrated, it may be a bit tingly. Um, if, if she's not dehydrated, then it will just be quite cold on the surface. Really pleasant experience, and we'll ask the client afterwards how she feels, but it's a really nice facial to have done. So now we go, we would normally leave it for 20 minutes. In actual fact, we have obviously a limited amount of time, and I know you probably want to go off and see other stools as well. So we're going to only leave it for a couple of minutes, and then we're going to remove it. Normally, we would do a hand and arm massage whilst the client has this on. Um, not that it's uncomfortable at all, but it's just a nice step. It's a luxury facial, which is paying quite a lot of money for, so it's a nice thing to be able to do for your client. And then after 20 minutes, we'll actually start to remove it from the base of the neck here. Yeah. So, Pierre Auger is uh, made in France. It's an established pre premium prestige brand. Uh, it uses cutting edge ingredients and technical, like this, technical uh, products to actually give you a much more effective result than a lot of skincare products. Um, it is a salon only brand. We will only sell to salons. You'll never find us. Um, on uh, QVC or any of the shopping channels. You'll never find us cut price on any of the internet shopping channels either, which I know is a problem for a lot of um, product ranges. We have small startup packages and we have comprehensive salon support with trainers who are qualified as trainers and assessors. So step eight, so she's removing, she's removed the gauze, she took it off from the neck upwards and now with the sponge she's just removing the rest of the gel. Now at this point, because the product hasn't been on the skin very long, it means that it's, it's going to come off quite quickly. When you do it yourself at home, if you use hot flannels, then it will lift off the product really, really easily and really quickly. And then 
Once you've done that, you're going to effleurage the oil 